Jeff again. One of the really cool things you can do in this version of Premiere Pro is you can edit directly from a bin. Now this is great when you're in a rush or you're just trying to try some shots out. You don't even really need the source monitor. To do this, I've got a card's worth of footage and I'm going to hold down the Option or Alt key, the double click, and that's going to put it in its own tab. I'm also going to make it quite a bit larger so we can see a little bit more of that room. Let's go ahead, let's make that larger here. Notice at the bottom you can scroll and make these larger and smaller. You can also use shift right bracket and shift left bracket to adjust the clip sizes. I'm gonna make it so I can see all six of them. So one of the big new features in Premiere Pro is what's called hover scrub. And you can see as I hover over a shot, I can just scrub and see what's going on. It becomes a really great quick way to audition your footage. Of course, it's not giving me the audio, so I'm gonna click on a clip and I can use the spacebar to play it. I can also use JKNL the way you always have. Yeah, we're gonna have to rip out your rear main and K key pause, J go backwards. It becomes a real quick and easy way to shuttle through a clip. And if you've already figured this much out, it's not a big stretch for you to go play in point, out point. Now, I could just drag that right to the timeline, but I think there's something a little bit cooler here. I'm gonna go grab this clip, play it. And, uh, yeah. Let's uh, back this up. Let's get to the spot where she's just coming around the corner there. And sees our guy. Play. In. Out. And now I can hit the period or comma, well, I want to make sure my play hits at the end. It's the period that I'm going to want, and I can actually just put that right at the after that shot. I'm going to click on this shot, use JKNL, let me go right to the beginning here. Play. Talking and pluck. So uh, listen to a story about a man named Jed. In, Jetty. out, once again, period key. And you can see how I'm able to construct this stuff directly from the bin. I can set in and out points, and if I click on any one of these clips, you can see the in and out point is set up by the yellow. So, for those of you who would like to be able to look through a large bin of clips, audition performances, and maybe even cut, you can find editing directly from a bin a much faster way to work than just dragging everything one shot at a time up into the source monitor.